to hear any negative reports about you, outsider. Hey. Yeah, what is it? Hey, McCready. What's on your mind? Your thoughts? I can't imagine what it was like being locked in here with hundreds of other people. Your thoughts? I'd kill for a drink. Come to think of it, I have. Just wanted to check in, see how you feel things are going between us. I think we'd get along better if you started listening to me once in a while. That's all for now. All right. We got a new visitor today. Don't say anything, but man, I'd love... It takes some preparation. I'd learn how to use a gun, and be ready to use it before I went out there. I've never even touched a gun. Now, I can't even say if our security has seen any real combat, but with the hours we're working these days, I'm not even sure where I'd find the time to practice. Hard work pays off, and you guys are maintaining the vault, right? Trying to, at least. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you, and I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. Signs of radiation. Hey, Ashes. Impressive. What are you doing up here? Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Karen's not If you need a this. doctor, Forsyth and Rachel are down in the medical center. They can patch you up. You should stop by and see Horatio while you're here. Can't imagine you come across many barbers in the Commonwealth. Hey. Now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. Don't make me regret letting you in here. Stay out of trouble. It goes for both of you. Excuse me, officer. We keep the vault safe. from the moon. Still got cheese on my shoes. I guess that was a dumb question. But I bet it's your first time here. I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. How did you know I was here? Gran says I have a knack for finding stuff out that I'm not supposed to. Actually, she ain't my gran. She's just Priscilla. But she acts like my gran. When my mom and dad died, she took me in. Anyways, do you want me to show you around or not? Okay. Give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I gotta show you to Erin. She's gonna flip. Follow me. We'll start over here.
This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. You're right to avoid them. They sound like bad people. They're not so bad. They don't hit each other or anything. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. The Overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Does she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules, but she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice though. You'll like them. Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guest from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. I'll come here if I get hungry. I like it here. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it though. Grand makes me comb it. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. Would he do my hair? Sure. He could turn your hair into anything. I wanted him to make mine look like Skull, but Grand wouldn't let him. Next stop is Grand. Let's go see Grand. I live with her. She's mine now. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Hi, Gran. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering her. I'm helping her. Hmm. That's Gran. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Penske. She acts a little grumpy, but it's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Gran grows it all here. She's really smart. <laughs> Next stop, Miss Katie. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time, but Gran says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. Are there a lot of kids in the vault? Not that many. The overseer says that we're using population control, whatever that is. Next stop is the medical clinic. 
Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Grant makes me. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, you come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Did you ever get sick? Just colds and stuff. Hardly anyone here gets sick. Mr. Somerset broke his foot once, though. They put a big cast on it, and he had to walk with crutches. Now we go see Erin. She's gonna be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. I found the stranger from the Commonwealth. Wow, you're really from the Commonwealth. Yes, I am. Whoa, someone from the Commonwealth. That's so cool. We haven't had a visitor in a while now. Thanks for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. Excuse me, ma'am. Have you seen my cat? Ash is gone. What happened? He scratched me. And I yelled at him to go away. I didn't mean forever, though. His name is Ashes. And he's the best cat in the whole world. I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. Where do you think he may have gone? Not far. He'd be terrified. I'm sure if there's anywhere nearby to hide, you'll find him. Hey, I'll find him for you. Thank you! His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. 